Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. Welcome to Clearwater Beach, Florida. I want to show you a photo that I'm going to take of the sunset. Hopefully, it's going to be a nice one of this beautiful place and, uh, you know, how I composed it, how I shoot it, the settings I use, and how I use my Lightroom preset, my natural Lightroom preset to retouch it. So follow me here in Florida and let's take some photos. So as you can see here, this is the pier. I really like this place because, you know, you need to have something to show when you take a photo. If you're only shooting the water, it's not always interesting. Shooting the pier is something I always go for. Now I'm gonna go on the left side of the pier and the sun is gonna set on the right side. Uh, could be a good idea, could not be a good idea. We'll see. But let's get to it, mesdames et messieurs. So I'm thinking, you know, to shoot the pier from over here. Let me show you through my camera. Okay, so that's maybe the framing I'm gonna go for. You know, I might go, uh, I have a, a 24 to 40, so that's at 24, and that's at 240. I might like really punch in like this. Uh, you know, for a detail shot. And uh, in any case, what I'm gonna try to do is have about a one or two second exposure. The water has, you know, small ripples. I like it when it's kind of more wavy. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna try different settings. All right, so my first setting is 160 for second, 7.1, ISO 100. I'm autofocus, two second timer. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put, I'm gonna go at 500 at 50 ISO and I'm gonna go F22 and then I'm gonna push this to about half a second. So half a second is gonna give me a little bit of a wave, you know. Uh, I'm actually gonna go more. I'm go it's not very nice with people passing by. I'm gonna go at one second. Yeah, that's way too burned, but I, I like the water how it is. So I'm gonna wait a little bit for the sun to come down and we'll keep shooting at, at, you know, at long exposure. Okay, I'm gonna try to move the other side of the pier to see uh, if I get a better framing. This is what I'm seeing. So you see the sun. The sun is setting the other side of the pier. And I'm gonna go and see if I get a better light over there. See what happens over here. Oh yeah, the sky is really nice there. The sky is really nice. We'll see how the framing comes to view, but that could be cool. Let's try a few framing. So I'm here at the other side of the pier. Uh, you know, that could be a good frame. I'm at 24, or I could sort of zoom in, you know, on the pier and uh, get that a, li a little more. Let's see here, something like this. Uh, we'll see. Uh, let's take different photos, short exposure, long exposure, and see what comes best. A little cool trick, if you go down very low, close to the wave, I find that the wave looked nicer sometimes. So I'm gonna try that also, see if it works. Okay, the, the sky is not gone totally crazy. I love that because you got the reflection of the sky here and there. That's gonna give us some good shots. So, Let's see, let's jump over into Lightroom and see what we got. All right, so here we are in Lightroom. I've imported the photos and I've, you know, taken a whole bunch. I'm not gonna get you go through all the photos. And I've actually, you know, put a little star system on the one that I really like. Uh, but, you know, the idea is every time I was doing this, you know, one, uh, no more exposure, and, and one lone exposure. So every time the lone exposure to water is gonna be more wavy, more flowy, you know, and it, for example, like this, or, you know, when I do a short exposure, then uh, let me see a short exposure here, for example, everything is fixed. Sometimes I would like more of the wavy version, sometimes I'm gonna like more like this sort of fix in time that you get on the water. Anyway, so let's see here what we have. 
uh, I'm gonna put my little star system to just show you the best of the best so this one okay I like the framing I love the clouds how they are and the uh, but there was a lot of people in the water there here it's cool but the the people in the water are, are you know still there and you can still see them uh, as the Sun was coming down you know and I was making this photo I was really underexposed my photo a lot you know so that's the raw file on retouch this one I really like okay so this one I gave it a two star uh, it is a slightly low exposure because it's one third of a second you know I was trying different speed I just love the light and now I'm gonna use my um, natural everyday preset to retouch it now the way my Lightroom everyday preset works just to show you is that you have different groups so you have a group called blue hour day golden hour lone exposure night snow and sunset now this is a sunset so the one i would go to it's actually like it's actually more a mix between a golden hour and a sunset so if i just go to sunset basic uh i'm gonna get a strong sunset could be way too much but it was really red i mean it was so red not that red but it was really red so i can try um golden hour golden hour basic see how it is it's going to be very similar uh yeah hardly seen any difference i can go to uh but you can get creative you can go to snow basic it's going to give you a very you know a very blue photo which i don't like in this one i think i'm going to go for you can get go to day which is going to give you like different colors on this one i think i want to go maybe um yeah i think i'm going to go to uh night uh night i'm going to use night uh, linear circle light something like this it's very blue so I'm gonna you know, I can always bring back some of the blues bring back some of the magenta no you know what no on this one I'm gonna go for the golden hour I'm gonna take the golden hour linear light uh, which is really red and crazy so I'm just gonna back it down just a little bit by adding some blue but I really want to get the red feeling there uh, maybe you know in a preset is a starter point but I'm just gonna lower the exposure a little bit you can click here uh, in a circle and see if there is any circle to be changed to be moved around uh, or you can erase them I always like to have some kind of um, point that's kind of light in the photo so that's kind of cool so people would look into that or I could put this point over in the water to get some reflection yeah why not and uh, I can go here and I can take uh, I have already have a little gra gradient here I can make this one a little darker and uh, this one is already darker yeah, it's good so it's fully retouched in like three clicks and everything is done you got the clarity the hue and saturation luminance is already done the your sharpening is already done the lens correction everything one click uh, another idea I had I actually when I passed by under the pier I took a one uh, you know an HDR so one thing that I do sometimes is I just take all three photos and I go right click photo merge HDR on the HDR option, I just use the deghost amount to high. That's what you see in red here. The deghosting basically means that it's going to take the underexposed photo uh, to be, and you can try different tests, but for this one, this is what worked the best. Uh, it's going to take the underexposed photo for the movement for the water. Uh, so, and show deghost overlay, that's what it means. So I've already created it. I'm, so I'm going to cancel because I've already created it. So that's just the HDR. And I'm going to go straight again to, I think, my sunset this time. I'm going to take my sunset linear circle light. I want something really crazy. And so one click, boom. And uh, on this one, it's a little too much again, so I'm going to add some blue. And uh, I'm just going to do, and that's one thing I don't do, I'm just going to do the upright. And I think I'm going to take my uh, crop tool. I want to crop it a little bit. And voila okay and I can look at my circles where they are uh, there is a circle here which is a big circle for the sunset and that's about it and uh, maybe I'm gonna add some more blue on this one and if you yeah s add back some more blue maybe lower a bit of vibrance and saturation and add a bit of contrast something like this that's one photo that I really like on this one Okay, last uh, but not least is this one I want to show you. This is this one. The sky got so crazy. I don't think in my life I saw so much red, and the reflection in water was crazy. Again, a long exposure, 2.5 seconds. 
I think I'm gonna go this one. I'm gonna go on the. Uh, let's see here, and you can see a little preview. I, I'll just go through this. I think I'm gonna go on the golden hour light on this one, because this is really how I felt. This is how I felt. Uh, maybe you know, back it down a little bit on the blue, just a little bit, and it's basically retouch. One click and it's retouch. Now. To install the preset, if you um, you will have a link below this video to download them. You can. I'm going to give you a couple of raw files. I'm going to give you a couple of free presets so you can try this at home. But if you buy my $27 package, the Surge Remedy Signature Preset Collection, you're going to get all the natural preset, all the special effects, including uh, my wedding and my portrait essential in my film preset. This is over 300 presets. And it's instead of $135, you can get for $27 for limited only. This is really the preset that I use every day. That's why I call them the Surge Remedy Signature Preset. Let me sh give you an example. This is a book I'm preparing on Venice, and every single photo I've used as a base, my Lightroom Everyday Preset. It gives me, uh, you know, it's just so much faster when you have so many photos to retouch to use this preset. You know, your sharpening is good, you know, your histogram is, is basically good, your white balance, you know, where you're going, your HSL is done, you know, you can place exactly the point of interest, your dodge and burning is already prepared. It's really my workflow that I've been using for years. So this is something I truly use every day in my workflow. I highly recommend it. And I think it will change your way you retouch your photo in Lightroom forever. Thank you very much and I'll see you in another episode.